I can talk to Melania. Bitch, what up, girl? How you doing? Okay, yeah. Who? Yeah, who's this? <sighs> We're talking about God's vision of America? Yeah, I'll listen to it, but I'm actually going to skip it because I don't care. Thanks. Uh, uh, Alright, bye. Welcome back to Chin 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 Trap. Chin uh, Chin Trap Stack. Uh, 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 Mike Mike Olstype. Scott Stapp from uh, Between uh, the Big Creed. Creed. No, he's from Creed. What if Scott Stapp heard? Like new new world and everything, he's now part of the between the buried and me. You think it would be better or worse? Who the fuck is Scott Stafford? Who's that? I don't know. Scott, you mean Scott Stapp from Creed? Yeah. I don't. I think it'd be worse. You think it would be worse? Yes. You're saying that the great, the great Scott Stapp, <laughs> is yeah. is like, what if he's just like a roadie for him? A real, 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 real. Yeah, what if he's just a roadie for him? Duke and rear. Is that better for him? Yeah, if he's a roadie, that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, that would probably be good for him because he would be getting some steady paychecks. Probably makes more money off of roadieing than uh, roadieing. Creed royalties. <laughs> I don't remember what's in here. That dude's been through some shit, though. I feel bad for him. Mine. Between the Beard and Me is actually, uh, they're going on tour, and, uh... I'm Monday, March 5th. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably not going to see them, because they're touring in support of Trivium. Ah, uh, we um, don't support Trivium. No, I got nothing against Trivium, it's just that I don't want to see Between the Beard and Me on a support tour, you know? Oh, okay. Even, I mean, I have before, and it's fine. Like, you But know, it's not your preferred. It's not my preferred. You'd, uh, rather, you'd rather see them be the headliner. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. Even though this is for Trivium's uh, cancer research or whatever, what, what, why are we supporting? No, they're just touring in support of their, like, their... In know, Trivium? Like, is that like a disease? No. You know who fucking Trivium is, you <laughs> No, bitch. I don't. Yes, I actually don't know who Trivium is because I don't care. Trivium is a band. Yeah, I, I get that part, but like I don't know who they are. I, don't I know. couldn't name a song from them or anything like uh, that. Ascendancy, uh, pull hard around the strings of your martyr. Yep, no. Rain Could, couldn't couldn't. Do uh, in, oh, that one. In, in, in all waves. All I can say is that my life. No, that's that one? that's Blind Melon. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's one of his favorite songs. It's a good song. It is a good song. I do like that song. Is that my life is pretty bleak? No, that's blind on it. Yep. Ah! <laughs> now, Trivia you know, Trivia has been around for quite a bit. I remember back in like 2005, 2006, I think is when they put out their Ascendancy album, which at the time, for me, was like. I, I didn't like the screamy, heavy shit as much. Are they like Candle Corpse? No, no, no. They're more like uh, in the more recent albums. They they kind of went into like a, a Metallica sound, sort of, like on albums like Shogun, Saint Anger. I did. I I only know the albums of the, like the, some of the names of the albums. I don't really know any of their actual songs on them. But it, the because he the the lead singer and guitar player, his name is Matt Heafy. And he used to do more of the screamy type vocals, um, but then on the more on the more recent albums, he's done kind of more of like a he 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 you know kind of uh, like a, okay like so a, Scott Stafford no no like a James Hetfield type thing oh okay but they're they're kind of like you know they were kind of like I guess what would be considered metal core at the time I guess I okay. don't know I, I I really don't know what the do we proper classification would be do we ever no we didn't see patches. Go see Patches. Patches of Willahan? Yeah, Patches of Willahan. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I never did see Patches of Willahan, no. No, we got a. We killed the dragon, but we didn't actually go see Patches. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. It's like fucking Beetle. 
<laughs> Thank you! Asshole. Fire god. But did they actually get god? Uh, probably not. I didn't get any soul. There, there's the. Okay. There's the soul. Some of them, yeah, there you go. Up, oh, Billy the Runes. Up, uh, uh, oh, Billy the Blood Echoes. Uh, 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 How many more games do you think um, from software are going to make in this style? As many until it becomes non profitable. I guess so, huh? I think the difference is that, like, each game is, like, expertly crafted. <laughs> like, it's not like a, like a Dead Rising situation where you find that the company is just, they don't even know what they're doing anymore. It, it's clearly getting better. Yeah. Not worse. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they've had enough time to hone in on, like, what makes these games great, but... Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little fatigued. I'm Sa guessing. Good. I'm guessing the next one they're gonna do is like a Bloodborne two. Yeah, maybe. I um I like Sekiro a lot. That one was kind of like a nice sidestep from like the traditional Souls type games. Um, because it was more of an action game and it was more like you know based on the mechanics of the combat rather than just you know all this other, like, kind of elements of this, like, lore and, you know, fucking, what's it called, uh, build, like, making a build of a character and whatever. Yeah. So, like, they kind of railroad you in that respect, but, like, the whole point is that the combat system is developed completely differently than what it used to be. So, and I appreciate it. I like that game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Have not played it in a while. I find myself never... I don't really return to FromSoft games a lot, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I can agree. Like, I, I usually play them, and I finish them, and then I'm like, okay. And then I don't I don't really ever play them again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll come back and try, like, a different build, and right. then I kind of... I get to where I want it to be, like... Like, one or two bosses in, and I'm like, yeah, this, this would have worked for me. Yeah, and then or, you're like, all right. Nope, I don't like it. Yeah, and then you're kind of just like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> you know what's sad, too, for me, anyway, is, like, I've bought, like, um, most of the DLCs for all the games, and I've not completed any of them. <laughs> Every <laughs> DLC that I bought, I completed. I never beat any of them, because they were too hard, and I just lost enough interest at that point that I just didn't feel compelled enough to continue. <laughs> So that was that was just me, you know? Like, I bought the DLC for Dark Souls, never did it. Bought the DLC, I got the Scholar of the First Sin edition of Dark Souls 2, never beat it. I never beat the game initially, because I don't, I don't really like that one. And then Dark Souls 3, there was the Ashes of Ariandel and the Ring City. I bought both of them, didn't beat either one of them. <laughs> um, Bloodborne, Old Hunters DLC, never beat, I didn't beat the first boss, too fucking hard. <laughs> I don't know if you ever did that. Uh, probably not, though, because you never you don't own that game. Uh, the Old Hunters DLC for Bloodborne? Nope. Oh, the first boss is Ludwig. He is so hard, dude. Very, very difficult boss. Yeah, the only... Uh, the only Bloodborne I've played is here. Yeah, and we didn't... We didn't uh, I don't remember how far we got. I think we got decently far, but... Nowhere near completing the game. It's a good game. That's a good one. I'm surprised that they haven't uh, ported it to PC yet. Well, I want to. I want oh, whatever. I'm sure. You, have you seen online? They had that like. There's like a fan made D make of the game. Have you seen that? No. Somebody was like remaking Bloodborne to be. To look and play like a PS One game, oh, it's pretty. It's actually pretty cool. So it takes a very much like a much more like linear kind of level approach type thing, but like you know, there's different weapons that you can get and stuff like that, and like you can fight Gascoigne and shit like that. Like there's a whole bunch of 
Yeah, they call it a demake because they make it look like a fucking a PS1 game. So it's pretty cool. Makes sense. Excuse me, sir. He's gonna get fucking axed by this bitch right now. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't know why that happens sometimes. It's because your your shit's not strong enough. It's strong enough most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time. <clears throat> As soon as you attacked, I knew. I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> One more hit would have done it, though. Yep. Oh, there's a Steak America perfect. Yeah. No, I actually have full, full health and full. Uh, yeah, because you didn't have full uh, anything. Flasks. Yeah. Thought we were gonna go back to Stormvale. Um, no. Shut up, dude. <laughs> nobody's nobody's yeah, gonna get. Oh, your bones are out there. Okay. Um, shut up. Cheater. You're not supposed to see me yet. Okay. Oh, I like all these yeah. giant jars there. That's cool. I'm just gonna drink that so I can get my shit back. I hate how, like, early on in the game, like, how, like, such few runes are actually a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's like 5,000 runes. It's like, that's really not that much, like, later on. These motherfuckers get nothing. Yep. This dude seems to stagger uh, relatively easily, though, huh? Yeah. Like, to get him into that critical hit thing, whatever. Visceral. Oh! Oh! Oh, that would have killed you. Why didn't that kill you? I can't see where we're dodging. Iframes. Iframes. When in doubt, iframes. Back her up. And you're dead. <laughs> it's your fucking controller, dude. Yeah, that's what it is. It's your fucking controller. That's the best PS4 controller that I have. <laughs> I got a red one. That's the best one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, You know what? I could probably stand to replace those other two out there, but... They call, they're expensive. <laughs> this time, I'm going to use the actual good one. Yeah, I was going to say, why aren't you using the jellyfish? That should have been the tactic from the beginning. Yeah. I, I don't understand. To, I don't want you to join in. That's cheating. I don't have anyone extra. I'm just a tree. <laughs> He'll never see me. It's cheap. Get him, jellyfish. Poison him. The jellyfish is the key, really. I think. I think we're in agreement. Get him, jellyfish. Jellyfish, the lights. <laughs> Let's watch out the wampas, are you? Yeah! Quick! Jellyfish! Take all the bolts! It... it did. <laughs> <laughs> it took a few of them. I was watching its health bar. It, it, it did take a few of them. Oh, poor jellyfish. Oh, he's still alive. I thought he was dead. Jolly was just hanging in there, man. Quick, jellyfish. Keep dodging. Uh, oh, no, jellyfish. Oh, well. Back it up, back it up. Roll. Billy, you gotta roll when that happens. <laughs> Sometimes I'm able to now. I know, I know that, but it's like every time you've done it, like, you just get hit. Roll. Oh, dude, it's hitting you off. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. That was the late. I'm just gonna chuck something real quick. Let's chuck some pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Pull out your bow! Oh, <laughs> that's too early. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> 
All right, Billy, go to fucking Stormville. Get your goddamn shit and leave. Wow, I don't <laughs> want to go to Stormville. We said that like two episodes ago that we were going to go to Stormville. It's true. We still haven't done it. Stormville's scary. It's full of monsters. I, I guess. Not really, though. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, a little too... That's right, because we never actually went up the... F well, we did, but just for... Morgoth. <laughs> Morgoth. Forgot. Margit. That was fun when we when we Whoops. brick walled yeah we brick walled him but you know it took us like not that many tries like no. comparatively to like you know the first time I fought him obviously I mean, it took us like I don't know I think it took us less than ten like, I would say less than ten probably like you know, like seven or eight tries maybe oh well, there's another thing get the sight of grace you why do they do that. <laughs> First, go down here. This guy. Yep, I know. I, I, I know. I never summon people. I only, never do only, only things. I never summon people either. Get that so I like can I see. I never do that. <clears throat> I like. Uh, I do like playing it on PC though, where you can ha you have that option. But I, I never. Yeah, no, I never. I <laughs> like never summoned anybody. I could talk to what's his face, but I'll do it later. That guy. Yeah, that guy. I remember seeing videos online of him like stalking you. Yep. Gastak. That his name? I forget. Yeah, that's his name. I hope there's no giant birds around. Not over here. I really hate giant birds. Birds hurt my face because they scratch me. And then I go, ah, birds. Oh no, birds, ah. They scratched me. <laughs> Can't you hear the distress in my voice when I go, ah? Ah, birds, ah, oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just find them. Kill them. Oh, piece of shit. Yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, very well. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna talk to you again. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Thank you. No, I want the main gate, cause I'm a bitch. How did you signal them to open it? You have your walkie-talkie. That's how he does. He just he just yells. I know. Nothing bad will happen here. Ugh. Yeah, that's all I wanted. I actually wanted that last one too, but you know, it's whatever. They all get it later. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize we had enough to level up. I kind of hate how much, like, um,. Stuff they kind of put behind the arcane in like intelligence stats, you know? Yeah. Like I get it, but like also it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> I, I understand they want to utilize it with like what they have. Like I get that, but like I don't know, it just sucks because it's like I I always play so like like a strictly like melee class. I usually don't really putz around too much with them. Um, the uh, magics. The magics are cool, but I just, I never use them. Yeah, I'm not much of a magic man. I'm oh. all about them slicing and dicing. Oh, I want to go up and smack the crap out you, punk. That's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, fuck, you smack the shit out of me. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I got some, some big guy up in my face being like, tarnished, he tarnished, you fuck it out. <laughs> Like, I want to go up <laughs> and shut his goddamn mouth. I don't want to just wanna throw some magic at yeah, I want to throw some bolts at him. That's like for pussies. No, I want to go up and smack the crap out that too, too magic, too magic, too magic. Titty laser, titty laser. 
No. <laughs> That was a funny sounding horn. <laughs> it's like Patsy from fucking. from fucking Body by the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mushrooms? You guys doing shrooms out here? Naughty. Alright, Billy. Oh, shit, he's got golden eyes! <laughs> We've been going for 20 minutes. You think you could beat Godric in the next five? In the next five? I'm yeah. going to do my best. Probably go, not going to go, 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 go. get there in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, next time I just search after if I got Godric, maybe. Um, I, can, I can rush him, yeah. Well, hey. Thank mm -hmm. you.